Hey, it's Gavin here. We have a Thursday Fat Blaster for you. I'm gonna go straight into it actually because I've gotta pick my daughter up from nursery very, very soon. So abs and cardio. Gonna keep things moving and as I say, we're gonna kick things off very, very shortly. So I hope you're ready for this one. I've had no announcements, so I don't know who's gonna be on here, but if you do happen to be on this, uh, this live workout with me, then make sure you say hello, hit that like button, share. Let me know what you're up to, where you're from. And in a moment, we'll get cracking. So I'm going to spin it to the side, push those hips forward. I can see somebody's watching. <laughs> Hopefully you're going to join in with me. And even if you can't join in right now, make sure you save this little routine by hitting that share button. Actually save it to your profile so that you can come back and uh, watch it later on, which is not a bad idea. A little top tip for you. So just getting these hip flexors ready for action. And then we're going to go for it. So... Starting with some ab work and then we're going to bring in the cardio. So we're going abs, cardio, abs, cardio, all the way through 10 minutes, okay? We're going to go 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds rest, nice and easy. All right, so down to the ground to begin with. We've got flutter kicks. So our first exercise. Now I want to make sure your back stays pushed down in towards the ground on this one. Now, a couple of ways of doing this, you can put your hands under your butt, giving yourself a kind of like a shelf, which forces your lower back down into towards the ground. Move my mic out of the way for a second. Okay, so you'll be here, like so. And just up and down. Now, if you find your back lifting up too much, then just go that little bit higher up and control the tempo. So I'm pointing the toes, straight legs, trying to pull the belly button in towards the spine. Okay, you got that? Well, let's do this then, okay? Gonna let it count down just for a couple of seconds. Now with your head position, you can hold your head or you can just drop it down. For anyone who's got neck issues, I recommend you just drop it down, but then find the correct position with your feet. So we're off now, 45 seconds, flutter kicks, easy tempo, trying to pull that belly button down towards the spine and just find your rhythm. Now if at any point during this workout, you have to stop and, and you, know, you really have to stop, not just kind of like, Oh, I'm not enjoying this. I'm going to stop for a few seconds. I mean, you're, you're struggling. You're trying to push through it. And then you have to stop. And that's okay. Give yourself a couple of seconds to get back into it. All right. So we've got about 15 seconds left here. Good control. Working those abs. All right. We're going to go straight up onto the feet in five, four, three, two, and one. All right. So come up top. Got 15 seconds of rest, and we're gonna go into some seal jacks. Seal jacks are this one. So your hands are together, feet together, you're gonna hop to the side, open them up, and back. Okay, very, very simple. We're starting that in three, two, and if you need to, do the step version, like so. Okay, let's do this. So 45 seconds, decent pace. Make sure we're getting that heart rate up. Give your metabolism something to, uh, to, I don't know, give it a boost, you know? Give it a kick up the backside. Here we go. Dropping those heels down a touch, especially if you've got tight calves. A lot of people, when they're doing jumping jacks or any of these type of exercises, if you go on the toes too much, your calves, those muscles there become super tight. All right, so we're looking good. We're getting into it now. All smiles. There we go, all right, next exercise is a walking plank. All right, dropping money. So walking plank, you're in the high plank position, and then you're gonna drop down into this low plank position. Okay, and then you're gonna come back up. Now if you need to, you might need to do this on a chair, you know, couch, but it's a very controlled movement. Slowly does it. And if you're higher up on a coffee table or something like that, it's gonna make it a touch easier. But just be careful on your arms and elbows. So find that rhythm. Ideally, point your feet together so you can squeeze your butt cheeks and bring that belly button up as well. We've got 15 seconds left. Again, good control. Easy up, easy back down. Six seconds to go. And then we're into our next blast. Two, one, boom, here we go. 
up top. What do you know? A doorbell's ringing. I'm gonna have to leave it because we're live. All right, next up, full body extensions. All right, so starting in five seconds, we're in ski jump position. We're just gonna whip those arms up all the way over the head. I think my hands might be out of shot a little bit there, but we're good. Starting now, so up and back down. If you can get on the toes, that's even better. Try and reach up high, arms are weightless, and then fire it up a little bit. Try and go that little bit quicker. Arms right up, so sort of finish next to the ears. Just pushing your butt back. Here we go. Feeling good. And we're gonna look good after this as well. Keep on top of it. A little time check for you. Not long, three, two, and one. All good. Next up, back down to the mat. We have the bicycles, similar to the flutter kick. And what we're gonna do, hands supporting the head, make sure they're not pulling on the back of the head. And our bicycle legs in position, elbow coming over to the, the knee. Yes. Control position, long legs all the way out. You don't need to go quick with this one. And if you feel your neck straying too much then, of course you can drop it down. And uh, as we did with the floor kicks, just pop your hands underneath and pedal that bike. Now the lower you go to the floor, the harder it's gonna be. But you've got to watch your back position. Some people haven't got a strong enough core to keep that back. Push down. Four, three, two, and one. And up. Good stuff. All right, 15 seconds. We're gonna go high knees on the next one. Now, if you can't do the high knees, if they're a bit, a bit too intense, a bit too so high impact, then what I recommend is a high march. So just on the spot, up and down, like so. Okay, otherwise, come and join me like so so bring them up so this is obviously much more intense but if you can manage this one then jump in with me it's only 45 seconds so hope you're having a good day whether it's morning evening wherever you are in the world I said a moment ago, I've got to pick my daughter up very soon, so I wanted to get this routine in for you. Two, one, boom. All right, next, we're back, walking plank. Okay, so same as what we did before. Starting the high, working down into the low. So you should know what you're doing now. So let's do this. Up to high, feet together. I drop down, little pause, come back to the top. Just try and get your hands right underneath the shoulders. And so if you're really struggling with this one, then what I recommend is perhaps just a touch out in front as a a variation for you. 15 seconds to go. Come on, you've got this all the way. Keep those abs tight. Belly bone pulled up, don't forget that. Squeeze the butt cheeks. Two, one, boom. All right, next up we have the power knees. I'm gonna go 30 seconds on each leg, so I'll show you quickly. Bit of a wide stance. Hips turned, bring it up, overhead, like so. Can you do that? All right, let's go. 30 seconds each side. Going at your own pace. Try and squeeze those abs as you pull through. Come on now. Let's go. Knee up, tense those abs. Keeping the balance. Come on, we're living the dream here. Doesn't get much better than this. Two, 
one quick change all right looking good strong all the way through got one more exercise after this we're back on those flutter kicks last few seconds strong finish and done good job all right one more so we're back to the ground remember those flutter kicks all right so you've got five seconds whether you've got your head down or leaning up it's up to you hands under the butt if you need to and let's fire it up so we want to finish strong this is our last exercise unless unless you're going to go again and reset the video go for round two but otherwise this is it so good control <sighs> trying to pull that belly button down and keep that back that lower back pushed in as well down towards the floor <sighs> it's always good to get your breathing into a rhythm don't hold your breath breathing in through the nose out through the mouth and there you go wow that was quick so that is it for today i'll be back with another one tomorrow hope you enjoyed that one stick a comment down below let me know what you think and usually i do a little stretch here but time is of the essence so i've got to shoot out grab my daughter from nursery and then figure out what we're going to do for the rest of the day so as i said i hope you enjoy that one let me know what you're up to i can see my uh, my cousin watching there are ants uh, well done on uh on passing uh the five grade test and uh, graduating and everything so well done buddy um and for the rest of you take care and i'll see you tomorrow all right bye for now